Welcome back guys. Something interesting happened the other day by accident. I was talking to uh, my friend Jan Nemes from Galaxy Art Media. And if, if you don't know who he is, uh, check out his channel. You'll find some useful information on there about astrophotography. But um, I recently purchased this Event Horizon Focuser. And I bought this for my 180 Maxitov. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's set up for an electronic autofocuser. In particular, this one works really well with the ZWO. Now, he calls me up and, and we're talking a little bit and he says, I wonder does this fit the, um, the 127? And I said, well, I actually have this very focus where I just purchased it. So let's try it out. And uh, we did some measurements and that sort of thing. And, and I put it up there and, and it does fit. So there's a few little things you have to do to get it to work, but this absolutely will work with the 127. It's really funny how you stumble on these things because if you go to the product website, um, I purchased this from Farpoint Astro. Uh, let's see. See here, there's their information. Um, Farpoint advertises it, uh, that it, it works with like the 150 Mac up. And I guess the reason is they're, they're assuming that the clearance on the side to the focus, or in other words, this distance here, between here to here for the focuser to go. Um, now, and it, and it may also be because the larger systems have the uh, standard SCT threads for, for this, which is what this female end is here. Um, so we tried it out and it actually does work. Um, so they need to include in their, their description there that, that this focuser in fact will work because it does. And I'll show you that. Um, so here's the documentation that you get from, uh, from purchasing this. And as you can see, uh, there's a little adapter that, that comes with it and it, and it goes like right in here between the ZWO bracket. Um, in fact, if you buy this and a ZWO EAF, this is absolutely all you'll need is what comes with the focuser to install it. And uh, it's really nice. It's, it's made well. It has a uh, rotator with a lock here, as you can see. And then it's compression on the inside, which you, you tighten right here. And it's got a uh, really nice travel to it. Feels feels smooth and uh, I don't feel any slop in that at all. It's just, it's really nice, really well made. So uh, let's get it on the Maxitov so I can show you. So this is the uh, Ryan Apex 127. Um, and that's the older version of, of what they were releasing. Um, and, as you know, the the rear of these things is not SCT, so uh, you can get this adapter. I've showed it before. This comes from Scope Stuff, and just type in uh, and search Maxitov to SCT adapter, and what that does is it, it just threads right over the original threads here, and it gives you an SCT male thread to use attachments, different kind of accessories and that sort of thing. So you're gonna need that first. And um, mind you, the Skywatcher uh, 127 Maxitov, the Orion Maxitov, and a number of other ones are all made by a company known as Senta. And they're identical, so this is gonna work. Uh, we, Jan and myself, we actually measured between the focuser and, and 
the exit hole right here of the light path so that we could make sure that this would work. And it in fact does. The SCT adapter and this SCT thread here, you'll notice the focuser, the focuser is in the way, but it's, don't worry about that. It's just this little rubber cup that's over the top. If you take a flathead screwdriver and you kind of just work it out like this, a little bit from each side, turn it a little bit, keep working on it. You can pop this directly off. It's not glued or anything. It's just a slip fit. So it's a little tight though. Just be careful when you're doing it. See, that's that's all that is, just a rubber uh, cover for grip or whatever. That just exposes the focuser itself. Now, in order to spin this on, we're also going to need to take out the locking screw for the uh, the rotator. So just remove that temporarily, and then you can thread this directly on. Just like so. Let me show you from a different angle here. It's long winded, so give me a second. Insert the, the rotator lock, and as you can see, I've I've got full range of motion here. The uh, this focuser just does pass the original stock focuser, but it works. So this will allow you to put. A ZWO electronic autofocuser or actually a number of other electric focusers or whatever you wanted to use on the back of the Mac 127. So uh, just a message to uh, Farpoint, you might want to change your advertisement to reach more customers. This is an amazing product for a 127. That will come very in handy. So. That lock is really rigid. It's, it's nice. See that? That's really well made. But there you have it. Works like a charm. Um, just a note ahead of time, uh, for if you decide to purchase this, what I would recommend is once you get your imaging train or your uh, your visual set up as you want it. I would take and rack this out about halfway and then get your course focus here on the original and then that way you'll have a little bit of travel out and a little bit of travel in so that you don't you don't run out one way or the other on in focus or out focus so just set that about halfway get your course focus, get as close as you can, and then uh, and then set up your electronic autofocus or what have you. But yeah, this is a, it's a really nice product. Um, they have a, optional adapters also that you can purchase along with the, the focuser itself. Um, I only talk good about products I like, and I can say this is really well made and uh, it feels like quality when you hold it. It's not junk. Uh, I forget what I purchased this for. It was just over $300, I believe. Um, but I wish I had it years ago because I really wanted, 
an electronic autofocuser for the 127 and this is by far to me the best solution that I've I've seen on the market and uh, it works with the popular ZWO EAF also so thanks again Jan for <laughs> for asking me about this it's really funny I had just purchased this um, from the 180 as I was saying for some planetary work and we were just talking on the phone and he was showing me some products and asked me what I thought about it. And I said, Hey, I just bought this one. So we got our calipers out and our telescopes and started measuring and, you know, hooked it up and lo and behold it, it fits, which is, which is just uh, mind boggling. This is a whole lot better than some kind of external belt drive system in my opinion. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And as always, clear skies.